As kids, we've all fantasized about changing the world, being the superheroes, we said. Later, we grew to let life interfere with our expectations. We got too immersed in our own daily struggles to observe the suffering of others around us. We learned to take luxury, our own well-being, our hearing ability, for granted. Now here's what the studies have shown. Hearing loss may be associated with a 39% increased risk of earlier death in individuals with moderate hearing loss compared to individuals without the hearing loss. The same study relates this phenomenon to the lower quality of life these people suffer due to the loss of this sense. And that's when we, the ECOS team, decided to take it upon ourselves to improve these patients' daily experience. We no longer want them to feel left out in a conversation. We no longer want them to feel unsafe as they walk down the street knowing there's a high chance it'll be too late when they finally get to see the car. We're targeting those who can't afford a hearing aid or a cochlear infant that's worth, what, $50,000? The ones who won't let sickness interfere with their style. Because as students ourselves, we know the struggle of manipulating a small budget into fitting your own unique personality. Therefore, we're developing a light, cleverly designed smart bracelet with a small screen for our special customers to use on daily basis. The bracelet's got a sensor that detects different sound frequencies to vibrate alerting the person wearing it whenever it detects certain sounds. Their name, for instance. Of course, the device also vibrates at another category of sound. Fire alarms, car horn sounds, ambulance sirens, a street fight they might want to avoid. The same sensor detects the different voices of different people that are addressing our product buyer all at the same time. The dialogue is then transmitted to the screen in a way that every person's voice is associated with a certain color so that our user won't get confused. We are only selling our bracelets online, business to consumer, to keep costs under control the way our product buyers want it to be. This goes hand in hand with our partnership with the electronics company E4, based in Monastir, ensuring some of the components as well as the assembling activities side by side with Insane Manufactory. Another potential partner is Aramex for delivery. We guarantee a maintenance service for the first couple of years despite the fact we're only selling at the very reasonable psychological price of 250 dinars. Payment measurements should be on delivery to build trustworthy channels. Our partnership with some of the non-governmental organizations handling the hearing loss issue would benefit our reputation and strengthen our credibility. We rely on your generosity to assure some of the funding. We have a long-term plan of getting margin loans and we do understand we'll need to use our own life savings during the launch phase. We have estimated our working capital by 3,000 dinars for this period to cover the first expenses. We made a three-year financial projection to find out we'll be making our first sales on January 21. An in-depth research about our targeted population showed we'll be reaching about 900 person the first year. Now, this number might sound modest compared to other market segments, but you shouldn't be worried since we're focused on a niche market without any national competitor. As explained in the outline, by the end of 2023, we will be reaching more than 3,000 product buyers. We are mostly relying on cost marketing because nowadays 80% of consumers believe that businesses must play a role in addressing societal issues. It will be a win-win-win situation. Consumers win a quality product and more conscientiousness of their costs. NGOs win the extra exposure. And we win, since our high ethical standards derives good public relations for the business. All of ECOS team members have clear vision of what we want within this business partnership. We set realistic objectives and we intend to surpass them. We share the same perspective on levels of responsibility and we're not intending to add staff members for the upcoming months.